Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our assembly today. It's great to be with you. We're going to start with a time of worship. And this week, we're going to read part of Psalm 145. The words will appear on the screen, so please read along with me. The Lord is kind and shows mercy. He does not become angry quickly, but is full of love. The Lord is good to everyone. He is merciful to all he has made. Everything you have made will praise you. Those who belong to you will bless you. They will tell about the glory of your kingdom. They will speak about your power. Then everyone will know what powerful things you do. They will know about the glory and majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom will continue forever and you will be king from now on. Last week, we heard about an amazing miracle where Jesus showed he had power over nature. This week, we're going to hear about another miracle where Jesus provided for people's needs. I wonder when was the last time you felt hungry? You might even be feeling hungry whilst watching this assembly. When we feel hungry, it's hard to concentrate and it has an effect on our bodies. It might make us feel sick or shaky or give us a headache. In this Bible passage, a lot of people are feeling hungry. In Matthew 14, it says this. Jesus left in a boat. He went to a lonely place by himself. But when the crowds heard about it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus arrived, he saw a large crowd. He felt sorry for them and healed those who were sick. Late that afternoon, his followers came to Jesus and said, No one lives in this place, and it is already late. Send the people away so they can go to the towns and buy food for themselves. Jesus answered, They don't need to go away. You give them some food to eat. The followers answered, but we have only five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus said, bring the bread and the fish to me. Then he told the people to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves of bread and the two fish. Then he looked to heaven and thanked God for the food. Jesus divided the loaves of bread. He gave them to his followers and they gave the bread to the people. All the people ate and were satisfied. After they finished eating, the followers filled 12 baskets with the pieces of food that were not eaten. There were about 5,000 men there who ate, as well as women and children. The people were so keen to follow Jesus and hear what he had to say that they didn't have anything to eat. And so they ended up very hungry. The great thing about this Bible passage is that Jesus saw what they needed and he provided it. He gave them something to eat. The disciples had realized that the people needed to eat. And just like in the story about the storm last week, they were starting to get a bit panicky. They were wondering, how were the people going to eat? And again, in the same way, just like last week, Jesus is completely calm. He knows he can solve the problem. Last week, he spoke and the storm stopped. This week, he prays and everyone has enough to eat. Not only that, they have more than enough. Every day in our lives, there are things that we need. And that's very different from what we want. This story reminds us that Jesus knows what we need and he can help us with that. The Bible describes God as our provider. He provides all of our needs. I don't know what you need today. Maybe you need a friend. Maybe somebody you know is sick and needs healing. Maybe your family are struggling for everyone to have enough to eat. Maybe you need to have good sleep or to not feel afraid. 
Jesus performed this miracle to show that God is big enough and powerful enough to meet all of our needs. So you can ask him to help you. Now let's still our bodies and still our minds as we reflect on what we've heard and pray to God. Father God, thank you that you know what we need and you can provide for us. Please help all of those who are hungry right now. Please provide food for them. And please help each one of us to have everything we need today. Amen. So we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So we've reached the end of our assembly for today. Thank you so much for listening and for joining in. I look forward to seeing you again next week. We end by saying, go in the light of Christ. Thanks be to God.